because especially if your pot is very big and you can actually use your slab sticks as a guide for when you cut and I would and I would have a slab handle and if it's too wide for you you can make it thinner but if you have a big pot you want a thick handle okay and you can do things with it you can curl it and make it go different ways with the coil handle and somebody wanted um, somebody wanted a twist you can put the coil handle on but if you want a twist make a long coil and just twist it like that and then slip and put it on okay so you can be as creative as you want and I want you to come with me, okay? When you put a handle on, you need to decide exactly where you're going to put it. Like, you think that looks good? I like to score and slip it and actually weld this part down onto the pot. And I like to score and slip it here. Or if you like the curl, you can curl it and do it that way, but just make sure the handle's big enough that somebody's hand can get in it. So you would score and slip and weld it here. You would score and slip and weld it here. For the coils, same thing. I always do a little bit here and then I come around. And you would score and slip. And sometimes when your handle is up really high, you're going to need to put paper towels under here to hold the weight of it up. Because if you don't, the weight of it will make it fall down. Scoring and slipping is very important and keeping it straight. You don't want to weld it here and then weld it way over here. You want it straight, right down from each other. And if you put another handle on, you want them straight across from each other. Okay? So that's how you would do handles. Now, professional potters do what they call pulling the handle. And I'm not very good at that. And it gets pretty messy. So we're going to keep our handles to either coils or slabs. Now, to make a spout, there's two ways. You can pull a spout by doing this. And do you see how it's turning into a little spout-like shape? That's called pulling a spout. And you don't want to squeeze this part in too thin, but you can actually shape it just by doing that. So that's called pulling a spout. Now, I have a pattern over here. You can follow me. To make a spout that you attach, you need a pattern that's shaped like a baseball field. And you're going to cut that pattern out. You would lay it on a slab and cut around the pattern. If it's too thick, you can pat it out a little bit, but you don't want it to be too thin. Now let's go back over and I'll show you how to put that on. If you clean it up, 
Okay, to make the spout that you attach, we want it curved like that. And you want it even with the rim. And you're going to slip and score it in that V shape where these hook on. And you're going to weld all of this down to here. But right now it can't pour. Once your spout is attached, we draw a little triangle here on the inside and cut it out so that liquid can go through the pot. So you would slip and score and weld this on. And that's how a pulled spout is like this. And then when you cut and add a spout, it would be like that. So, is there any questions? Can you think of anything I didn't say? Okay, that's it.